Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be working in my sketchbook as today is Monday, therefore another spread. So I haven't actually been doing a lot of painting in the sketchbook, let alone using gouache. So I kind of want to revisit using gouache once again. So I already have some sketches already laid out on the spread and the sketches are done with the usual Pilot Color Eno in the color red, which is this pencil right here. And then after that, I decide to kind of like do a bit more of a permanent sketch, I guess, more of a harder sketch just because the Pilot Color Eno does dissolve with water and the Coal Erase from Prismacolor does not. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically spruce up a little bit of the sketches so that they don't dissolve when I add my watercolor and then later on my gouache to the sketches. So my watercolor palette is this and it's mostly Holbein watercolor paints in this. And then after that, we are going to be using gouache, which is the Himi Mia Jelly Gouache, which is this set. You can see my palette's not cleaned. A lot of my paints are actually getting a little crusty and dry. So hopefully um, I'm gonna take some time to revive some of my paints. I'll show you guys an example what um, you can kind of revive them to. Some people get better results and you can look up videos on how to revive your gouache palettes that are similar to these ones by remixing and adding a little bit more moisture back into them again. And it does take a little bit of time to do, so I didn't do it entirely for my set before working on today's session. Mm. I guess like for the first portion of the video, I'm gonna be basically, like I said, I'm gonna do kind of more of a cleaner sketch on top of my Pilot Color Eno sketch so that I have a good basis for when I add my kind of like initial washes or even some lighter passes when I work with the gouache because it's, like I said, it's gonna been, I don't know, a few months even since I've used gouache properly and I feel like I'm kind of like regressing with painting and this kind of helped me a little bit realize that I still enjoy gouache but it's still a little bit finicky for me to use and I'm kind of glad I worked in the way that I did because I am going to lose steam once we work on today's spread. So you can see that today I have three sketches on kind of my sketchbook spread. So these are based off of Wanu from Seventeen from one of the concert days and he had a really cute outfit based kind of on his Animal Crossing playthrough where he was wearing kind of like a cat beanie and he had this cute little backpack on his Animal Crossing character while he was visiting other Carrots Island. So for people who are not familiar, if I say Carrot, it is the fandom for Seventeen and Seventeen is a K-pop boy group. So hopefully that clears up a little bit and Wanu is my favorite member just in general of like, I guess like my ultimate bias in k-pop in general but also he's my favorite in 17 but i love every member in 17 a whole whole heck of a lot so yeah it's just that i draw wanu a lot so hmm. um but i wanted to draw the outfit that he was wearing because i believe he was wearing the outfit because of how much carrots loved the I guess like his Game Boy Lives where he does like gaming live streams every so often on Weverse, which is kind of like a streaming platform or social media platform that a lot of idols use nowadays. And he was wearing this really cat, like cute cat beanie and he had like a little white backpack and he was just going on stage and it was just very cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick this into time lapse because I didn't want to cut out too much, but I wanted to show you guys the entire process of me doing the initial washes. So. If I can, I would like to plan out more of the color scheme and just the general idea of if I want to include lighting and all that jazz in the initial washes with watercolor. And the reason why I'm using watercolor and not gouache is just because I have a much easier time mixing and controlling the consistency and mixing the colors of watercolor than I am with gouache. So there is a little bit of difference of consistency. For the most part, color mixing is fairly the same. It's just that I'm just super used to my own watercolor palette and how I have it laid out. So I know which colors I like to use to mix, let's say like a skin tone 
or to mix let's say darker colors for my blacks and all of that so it's just a lot easier for me and I do like the consistency of watercolor because it's a little bit thinner it's a little bit lighter and you can kind of layer up in a different way compared to how you layer up with gouache so I'm basically laying down a simple wash for everything I'm not spending a heck of a lot of time doing the lighting I definitely spent more time on the one on the left and or not the left the right the, basically the one that has like side profile with his backpack and his back kind of shown is the one I'm going to spend the most in general like time wise both on my washes and in the gouache so the other two I'm not too quite fond of just because there's a few errors here and there and I got frustrated but I did like the sketches initially so you're gonna see that the top left one does not look like Wanu at all. I didn't do his eye shape, I gave him the wrong mouth shape too. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of fix it up a little bit when we actually do the gouache because like I said, he has more of like sharper, more thinner eyes, a little bit more intense and his mouth is a little bit different how I usually draw it. If anything, the sketch on the upper left kind of looks like a different member which kind of looks like Joshua <laughs> rather than Wanu. But it's okay. We'll, we'll try to fix that up once we get to the gouache painting phase. So for gouache, I am going to be showing kind of like snippets of this particular one in real time so you guys can see how I paint for the most part. But the other two I will also put into time lapse because I don't want to spend too long looking at those pieces. But I also think it's like a little bit beneficial seeing the process from start to finish um, in one painting session. So I will put that in time lapse mode. But when starting off with a, like whenever I'm doing gouache paintings, if it includes a figure and their face is visible, that's where I usually start with the painting just because I mentioned like a lot in other videos that for me the face makes and breaks the piece for me because I like drawing people so much and I like drawing the face the most so I like to tackle it first so if I do screw it up somehow I can abandon it or fix it more quickly rather than spending let's say two hours painting his hair his body his accessories and clothing just to botch up the face and not like the whole piece so yeah I just don't want to waste time basically. So for the background or just to fill up some space for the entire painting, I'm just mixing kind of a bunch of blue, making it a little bit lighter towards Wanu's face, which is the one in the profile view. And then we're just gradually getting a little bit darker as we move away from that one. But I'm not being too precious with blending, nor do I care that it's like splotchy and a little bit more like transparent and see-through. So I just wanted to keep it messy. I did want to fill up the page enough though because I do have like random gaps where I didn't feel like sketching more faces or anything to fill up the space. So if you've seen how I do my other sketchbook spreads, oftentimes I try to fit as much as I can into the real estate of the page. So if I have like a little gap, maybe I'll put text there. Maybe I'll put like some kind of I don't know, like detail. So maybe I put flowers or I'll put um, like little chibi versions of their face into small areas just to fill up the entire page. But I don't think this one is really needed. There's, it's, it's kind of nice having a little bit of breathing room sometimes on a spread. And I think this one was going to need it. I didn't want to overload it because I already had an inkling that I was going to like this one who painting a little bit more than the rest just because I like the sketch more in general anyways so for me I I know that I should spend more time planning or sprucing up my drawing and my sketch before I end up doing any coloring or rendering or anything like that because the planning is kind of like the base block and the for me I think is the most crucial part before I actually start to kind of finish out a drawing or I start to plan colors or anything like that and if the kind of base block is not fleshed out properly I'm going to struggle with the later steps which is kind of like my problem with the other two Wanu little paintings that I'm going to do so I definitely spent a lot of time on this one just because I knew I was going to enjoy it more but I didn't want to take the time to spruce up the other ones enough for me to enjoy it I guess so 
already had a plan that this one I was going to spend the most time. So I'm going to try my best to include the details that I want, um, try to adjust the colors to my liking, and making sure that things are somewhat more clean compared to the other ones. Because the other ones get a little bit splotchy, a little bit fuzzy, and just not as sharp or clean compared to how I would probably prefer to work in with gouache. But for the most part, it's fine. It's not gonna like make or break or make me want to like rip out the page or anything, so it's okay. Kind of like looking back at my sketchbook though. Oh, let me talk about the painting process actually a little bit first. Because I do have some habits or I have ways that I know I'll like the drawing or painting process a little bit more if I follow these steps rather than trying something new, which I can do on a piece that I feel a little bit less precious with. But for... I guess like I got a little bit lucky that Wanu was wearing majority black and he has black hair so it was very easy for me to block in fairly dark color as the base kind of like in the, the initial wash was very black and very dark or a little bit more purpley blue and then as we moved a little bit closer to the right side of the page I decided to do a little bit of rim lighting we do a little bit of I guess it's not even rim lighting. I'm just adding more lighting to the right side of Wanu's body, Wanu's hat, and everything. And as we kind of mix colors, I'm slowly adding lighter colors and a little bit more vibrancy as we move to the right so that it starts to pop. But I didn't want to go too, too dark because I always like to also add line work with a darker color or line work with or not line work, I guess the darker color to help define the shapes a little bit more and it works really well for clothing for me. So a lot of the parts of Wanu's folds or part of the clothing is kind of just a almost interlocking way of back and forth of a light color and a dark color and it kind of gives a little bit more of sharper edges which I kind of like. So you can kind of see it a little bit in the sleeve and then a little bit up to the part of his collar on his like the upper portion of his shirt and I don't know, I just really like this particular Wanu painting compared to the rest. I also spent a little bit of time just adding colors and making the backpack read a little bit more wrinkly, a little bit more less blocky, and I had a lot of fun just adding some stuff to like details like the lines, and I did switch brushes. As you can see, I'm using a thinner brush to do the line work, and it's been a little bit of a long time since I've done line work with a brush I feel like because I haven't been painting a lot and including in not painting a lot I haven't been using watercolor as much and that's where I usually do the line work of my watercolor paintings with the like a watercolor brush it's the same brush that I use for the general painting maybe sometimes a little bit thinner or a little bit sharper so that I can do um kind of like finer details but it's easier for me to also match my line work color with the actual paint color just because it's the same medium so i'm adding in white for confetti as well um yeah it's just basically in the reference as well there's a bunch of confetti i'm just placing these kind of willy-nilly i'm also adding a little bit of the inside of the cat ears just because it has um i believe he had found a toque that has little cat ear kind of shapes and then he put like paper triangles to make the inside of the cat ears a little bit more visible, which I think is super cute. It's very cute when he starts running and stuff and they you can see the ears kind of flop or like when he bows after his speech, the ears just flop forward. It's just really cute. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna talk about. Oh no, the reasoning why I haven't been doing painting or gouache in my sketchbook. So now that we're in kind of like time-lapse mode and you're gonna see me uh, paint these two last little Wanu drawings, I'm gonna struggle a bit just because I don't know, I never really liked these sketches as much as the other one anyways, so I'm not going to spend too too much time. But there are some parts that I enjoy of this one, which is mostly the shirt and a little bit of the hat. His face isn't too bad, but it doesn't look like him at all, so you know, that's okay. It's just good practice for me to get back into gouache a little bit, which will help me segue into the reason why I haven't been using gouache too too much for the last few months. So I'm going to go back in my sketchbook right now. Other than like the, I guess it's like the front inside cover that I used gouache. I think the only other time I used it was during Silver Wolf, which is back in June, like around mid-June. And then the other one was a painting of Ike, I believe, if I can find it. Yes, which is back in May. So the reason why I haven't been painting a lot is that I 
I haven't been giving myself a lot of time to be like take my time with the medium as much like I did with the Wanu drawing on the very right and because of that and that I'm rushing I'm not getting the result that I really liked so it's kind of like a back and forth if I don't put in the effort then I won't see the result that the effort will kind of like produce so like if I put minimal effort the result is gonna look kind of poor if I put a lot more effort and a lot more time it's a higher chance that it's gonna look nice but if it doesn't turn out nice then I feel like I wasted my time so I think the last few times that I've used gouache and I didn't really like the end result is kind of pushing me towards like oh I don't really like gouache anymore I don't really want to spend time playing with round with gouache because it feels a little bit more like a time sink because I know I won't like the drawing in the end which is a very bad mindset for myself but I'm gonna try myself like try to push myself out of that again so that I can use gouache in my sketchbook because I've been using more dry mediums oh here I'm also fixing his eyes so I covered the entire face and then re-sketched in his eyes so that I could hopefully make them a little bit smaller than usual or not usual, smaller than the one I drew previously because it looked a little bit more like Joshua rather than Wanu. So at least this one looks a little bit closer um, to Wanu rather than Joshua. So that, at least that's kind of a fix that I could do um, by covering it up with gouache. But I used to like painting a lot in my sketchbook because it was a nice way to introduce like a lot of vibrancy and color and a different finish to my sketchbook that wasn't just like pencil sketches or marker drawings and all that. But I've been kind of reverting back and doing a lot more pencil sketches and just letting things be loose rather than being super finished, which is kind of nice as well. But I would like to get back and do kind of a mixture again where I do spend a little bit more time and care in my sketchbook for maybe a spread or two and not the entire sketchbook because that puts me in a weird place of having an expectation that I want my sketchbook to be visually more pretty rather than just training it like treating it as a place for myself to just sketch whatever I want because I know some people treat it as a, a tool to learn and draw and sketch in whatever they want to learn how to draw. Some people treat it as kind of like their safe zone which is kind of how I treat it. I draw the things I like in here, I draw the things I want in here and yeah I, I just want to be a little bit less precious and still be able to play around with the mediums that I want to. So you can see right here this one new drawing I don't really like because I don't know why I drew his neck like that, so I think it's also because how his collar cuts into his body when it's stretched like that, that it kind of looks like that, but it's okay. The one on the right, like I said, I spent the most time. It's a little bit more clean than the other two, and I forgot to put the stickers on Wanu's face on the other two, but I'm not going to go back in and do that. But hopefully you enjoyed today's sketchbook session, and I'll talk to you guys next time in the next video. Bye!